Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day three of the Cape Wrath Trail. It's uh, 7.22, just getting started. Uh, that's the Bothy I stayed at down there last night. Uh, it was a good night's sleep, good camping. Quite busy, but it was good. Got the sun in my face this morning. Got a little bit of a challenging day today, so I wanted to get up early. I need to catch the, uh, the tide. Hopefully, I'm gonna catch it, and I won't have to go over the rough land. So I'm gonna get moving this morning, and I hope you guys enjoy the ride, because I'm ready for it. All right, we're crossing a dodgy footbridge. Very dodgy. Well, that one's loose. That one's gone. Crossing on the main beam. That one's gone. That one's gone. Oh boy. Okay. That was interesting. Back there on the path, I saw something that looked like a Yeti footprint. I'm gonna see if I can communicate with a tree knock. Just gotta wait a few seconds. Let's try one more time. If he's in, if he's in the Scotlands or the Highlands, he's here. All right, this is some serious bog. I've got to get through that. Looks like over there is my choice, but I'm going to get my feet wet. They're already wet, to be honest, so it's okay. But, whoo, that's a toughie. Ooh, just had my first fall back down there. It wasn't too bad, but it was a fall. I'm on the top, catching my breath. I'm gonna keep moving. It's hot. Some of these pools are just amazing. That one's so deep. I'd love to get in that and just sit there for and take in that view, you know? Maybe have a cold one, even though I don't have one. But man, look at that. Ah, oh, Scotland, you're killing me, man. I'm pressed for time because I want to beat the uh, beat the tide. But man, I would have gone in that right now because it's so hot. Okay, just come from there, just following this stream here. Pretty rugged terrain here. And then I'm heading towards this lock in here. And then cutting down that valley there. And then down into the, uh, where well, I should see the, should see uh, in the uh, inland lock. Or yeah, salt lock, brackish lock, one of those. So that's where I'm heading now. Beautiful weather, just gotta keep going. Okay, made it to the first lock. Don't know the name of it to be honest, but I made it. Uh, it's challenging to say the least. I just gotta get through here, gotta walk the, the sides of the lock here, and then all the way, and I can see the path just over there. It's very distinct, but it's there. All right, let's get going. It's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. And the breeze. Mm. Okay, all right, that's where I've come. I've made it to the next lock-in and uh, I'm heading to that corner of the lock. You can just see the path, I think, going up over one of the little hills on the side. It's in between these big, big mountains. Oh, it's epic. It's hard work. It's definitely hard work. All right, I've made it past the locks. Now I've just got to head down here. Uh, a few people walking around, but I think I've got some runners coming up behind me. So there's a few people out here. Beautiful scenery, beautiful weather. I'm feeling good now. Let's keep moving. Uh, I just crossed in this river. Crossed it twice actually already. So just going with my shoes on. Doesn't matter. It's a little frosty, but it's all doable. It actually feels nice on your feet, believe it or not. That's why you wear, I believe you wear your shoes. So you've got sturdy, you got, yeah. Anyway, cross safely. Now I gotta go up there. So, boom. I like crossing rivers, it's fun. Okay, just made 
made a view of the bothy. It's just down there in the corner there, just over here. I've got to go around that uh, headland and uh, the tide's still out, so I'm, I'm pushing to get down there to get around it. So let's see. All right, crossing the bridge here. Now watch my step. I think they've rebuilt it a little bit. And it's fall down there. A little bit wobbly. Not too bad. I'd love to go swimming in that right now. But I'm on a mission. Ooh, off the bridge. <sighs> All right, I made it to where well, I made it to where I can see. And unfortunately, it looks like the tides come in. So I'm not going to be able to make it around that hedge. I'm going to have to, uh, <sighs> looks like I'm going to have to head over the hill there just in front of it, which is not great, but what can you do? <sighs> Ooh, it's still a beautiful day. It's very warm. <sighs> Trying to keep cool. All right. All of a sudden, it smells like salt water. And just here on the bay, I got the bothy just here in front of me where I'm going to take a break. Probably a good, decent break, to be honest, because I've got to go up over that hill in front of it, behind it. So it's going to be challenging. Anyway, let's get over there and put our feet up. <laughs> just sitting here in uh, Scully's bothy having a coffee. Come outside just to look at the views, and I've got some deer. And then, Looks like there may be a little baby one there too with them, that one in the middle. Yeah, a few red deer, they're just wa walking out into the water, aren't they? That's crazy. Don't mind that I'm here, I guess. So I just got my coffee. Oh, what a view. I'll show you the bothy up close. Oh, let me back out a bit. There you go. Beautiful bothy, very nice. Uh, just speaking to a guy and he stayed in the Bothy last night and he had a horrific snore. He's doing the Cape Wrath Trail and he had a snore that kept him up all night. He said about two hours of sleep. I feel bad for him. Need to be in a tent. Those Bothies are like that. So, yeah. Those are cool, aren't they? Cheers, guys. Happy days. All right, so this is the Bothy. I'll give you a show around in this one. It's quite small, this one is. There's not too much to it. I have a backpack, extra sleeping quarters. Yeah, not really much to it, to be honest. Fireplace, some leftover garbage, drinking bottles and stuff, and firewood down there, chairs. Yeah. And then uh, this is your way out into the world. Pretty cool, huh? Fire blanket, whistle. And deer walking out in the ocean, walking out in the uh, out there in the ocean. Yeah, it is the ocean or the blackish, brackish. So, hmm. wow, look at this view. Apparently, I'm supposed to cross there. Straight across there and on the other side over there is a bridge that I need to hit to cross that river. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Beautiful. There's a house over there. What? Someone lives out here. That's awesome. Remote living at its finest. Anyway, let's uh, keep moving on, see where this takes me. Uh, there's somewhat of a path here, but it's mostly bushwhacking. Uh, yeah, so there's some ruins over there, some kind of building over there. So I'm just making my way around, around all this marshland, and then uh, I'll be striking across to hit the bridge. Oh, it's a nice breeze right here, and I'm out of the sun. There is someone behind me. She hasn't come around the corner yet, but ooh, I'm loving this. Oh, so beautiful. So I made it to the point now where I'm going to cross. Uh, I see my bridge. There she is. So I got to make it to that now. Cross this. Hopefully it's not too bad. And I can get across. Let's give it a go. I think I'm about over, a little bit over halfway across. It's definitely boggy. I'm going in 
a few times, but nothing undo it, nothing that I haven't seen on the Cape Wrath already. I'm just standing in the middle, catching a breather, showing the terrain. There's a person coming up over here now. I've just spotted her. She's there. Oops. She's just there on the middle of the screen. So I'm assuming she's over here. She, sorry, say she is gonna follow, look look at me and see what I've done and follow me. Like I said, I'm getting to the bridge and taking a break, so I'll be able to watch her come across. So, let's get there to the bridge. Take a break. That's swim number two. Oh no. So rejuvenating. Just right here, just sat in there and just let the water run run over me. Ugh. I'm loving this. That was awesome. I feel so rejuvenated and cooled down because I was quite warm in the sun. Get closed up. Let's get going again. Oh, look at these pools to swim in. There's quite a few of them here. A little bit of a waterfall into that one down there. That's where the river continues on. Man, that would be nice to swim in. Uh, if I wouldn't have had a swim, I might well, I wouldn't have had to cross over there. It might be treacherous to cross over to that gravel, but it'd be worth it if you lived around here to be able to swim in that. Just following the, uh, the river basically right now plan. This is where it gets uh, a little gnarly. Just following the river here. following the river, keep it left of the river. And then I've got to go up there somewhere. Ooh. Anyway. Hi guys. Ooh. I'm uh, keep trucking next to this river, but the path has gotten extremely technical. Lots of boulders, lots of rocks. And the sun is, is coming down quite good. Uh, drinking lots of water, trying to keep dehydrated. And uh, put my hat in the water when I see it, so it just cools my head down. Is it? It's warm, and uh, I gotta follow this river for quite a bit longer, and then I'm gonna take a break uh, to relax, catch my breath. I'm enjoying it though; it's a lot of fun. I just need to pace myself because uh, I don't want to get too hot. All right, let's keep moving and take a time. So this is a spot on the trail that a lot of people talk about. Is a uh, pretty great camping spot which I'm looking at it now and I, 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 I agree wholeheartedly it's very nice you got a big puddle of water in front of you over here so you can take a swim and I believe oops just slipped on a rock and I believe there's lots of places to camp apparently yeah have a closer look at this oh look at that back up a bit so you can see the sheer cliff wow that's amazing. Uh, how delightful would that be right now for a swim? <sighs> yes. Wow. Epic is the word for this spot. That's where I've just come. Uh, somewhere down there is where I've got to go. Uh, it's quite rugged. Uh, maybe I go up somewhere else. I don't know. But yeah, that's the spot. Ugh. Taking a break here now. This is the way we're going up here now. Straight up there. Crazy. It's crazy.
walking down. <laughs> walking down the hill. I made it to the top, which was up there. Well, now we're coming down. This is Frank in front of me. I've been walking with him for the half, about two or three hours now. And now we're just cracking on down the hill here. Getting to the campsite. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. I've been walking with Frank for a little while, so I didn't have much chance to do some videos. But uh, I just uh, took a bath, or uh, not a bath, but uh, a little dip in the water to cool myself off because it's the sun is uh, it's quite quite intense today. I've drank at least 10 liters of water. Uh, and uh, I've still got about 45 minutes to go to get, I'm, I'm on my way down uh, so I'm just gonna just gotta follow this ridge down now and then I'll be back at the campsite to set up a tent I'm looking forward to that I'm feeling good after that bath Oops, I keep saying bath it wasn't a bath it was just a cool off in the water uh, I'm feeling a lot better now it revitalizes me I feel and I needed it so let's get down to the to the tent We'll go over how today went. Okay, that's my view right now. Coming down, got about another 10 minutes, probably 15 minutes till I get down there. The river's down below me. And there's clouds coming up and above the trees on the mountains up there. The sun's still bright. Let's just continue walking. Let's get down to the bottom. All right, I've just spotted the campsite. And there's quite a lot of people there. That'd be cool. Be an interesting evening then. Looking forward to this. Hello, everybody. I've made it to the tent. I haven't set up. I'm at a campsite. So there's quite a lot of people here. So I'm going to cut it short. Hot chocolate again. And tonight for dinner, Chili con carne. Looking forward to this because I'm starving. Gonna look, should be just different than the other one, so hopefully it tastes better. The other ones were fabulous. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. It was a tough one. It was pretty, uh, couldn't really film much, but I did what I could. Uh, it's definitely a tough one. I'll go over it in the map. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to tuck into this and relax. All right. So this is where I camped last night. And basically I went through the woods here. It's quite boggy in some sections, but then steep coming out. Then into the main track, following the main track. Basically, it was quite rough going here, slow going too. And then by the... By the uh, the tarns here was quite difficult, or by the lock-ins, it's quite challenging too. And then uh, that river crossing was fine. And then the drop down into the Bothy was really good, really good views. And uh, took a break at the Bothy. Tide was in, so I had to go over the moorland here, which was fine, it wasn't too bad. And then walked across the shore here. I didn't cross here, I went here. And then crossed there to get to the bridge. So over here. Cross the bridge and then you basically follow the river here all the way around. Just keep following the river. Not too bad, it's pretty flat, boggy but flat. And you get to uh, this section here before you come into the campsite that I've got marked. It's quite, quite, quite difficult. Uh, a lot of scrambling and climbing and stuff. It was slow going for sure. And then took a break here and then followed it again all the way over here and then went up this steep ravine here which was ridiculous and then finally got to the top and then this path here was pretty straightforward not too bad and then got to the v-lock which is here and dropped down all the way down which was quite simple easy somewhere around here i took a little break and had some uh sat in the water and cooled off a bit because i was quite hot sun today was quite 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 demanding and then down here all the way into the, uh, the campsite which is very nice so that's where I'm at tonight